As first-generation dairy farmers, the Reynolds family in Alberg, Vermont, have focused on cow comfort, community, and caring for the environment to grow from 150 cows to more than 700. So in 1991, we, I decided to, to milk cows. I had no clue how I was going to get the money. I think I had two pennies in my pocket if I was lucky. While Newton and I started farming, we had just a few cows, so we were able to work together. And as our family grew with our four daughters, our farm grew. I think my mom and dad have worked very hard to get where they are. It's a first generation farm. It's hard to start up a dairy and not have anybody really there to back you or support you. And they, they did it. I, I think one of the biggest reasons we stayed close is, you know, for the over the years with with everything that we do is we've done everything together. When there's a problem on the farm, we all go out together to try to deal with it. Crosswinds Dairy and Daughters is active in their community by building relationships and creating trust. We've been here for 24 years, so we've all grown up with people within the community. So we've hired within the community. We try to hire local people. You need to help your community and all the people around you because someday you may need their help, but there's nothing wrong with giving everybody a chance. Technology and continuous education have played a big role in this family farming operation, including a nutrient management plan implemented by Olivia. The nutrient management plan, it has helped us a lot because it's helped open dad's eyes to see, hey, this farm has too much phosphorus on it or this one doesn't have enough. Darlene serves as a DFA delegate and has been a part of the Emerging Leaders program. She's also a leader in her Vermont community. The one thing we want to do is safeguard the lake that we live around, Lake Champlain. I can't say, stress it enough, within this area that I live, water quality is so super important. Our state has put in forefront the dollars to take and clean up our lake because it is an impaired watershed. And knowing that I want my daughters to be able to have a future in this state, I knew that that was truly an asset that we had to be in the forefront for. Ensuring their cows are comfortable is also a top priority for the Reynolds. The biggest thing for me is that if my cows aren't comfortable, if their waters aren't clean, if they don't have food in front of them, I'm not making any milk, they're not making any milk. As a first generation dairy farmer, I feel we defied the odds. The thing I tell every young couple that I meet, never take no for an answer and, and never believe in the word can't. There's always a way. If you want to do it bad enough, you can find somebody that'll help you or a way to get started. Congratulations to the Reynolds family, this year's Northeast Area Member of Distinction.